17 Ways to Use Wood Ash in the Home and Garden Did you know that you can store and use the ashes from your fireplace or fire pit after you've done burning wood? In this video, we'll go through several amazing uses for wood ash that you probably aren't aware of. You could get 20 pounds of ashes or more out of each cord of firewood you burn. That means you could use one pound for each of the following solutions and still have some ash to spare for a rainy day. Here are 17 ways to use wood ash in your home and garden. Number 1. Amend your soil If you're into gardening, you know certain things about your plant's requirements. One of those is the pH of the soil. If your soil is acidic, you can use wood ash to raise its pH. Simply add 5 to 10 pounds of ash for every 100 square feet. Since wood ash contains around 70% calcium carbonate, it will perform the same function as lime, but considerably more quickly due to its much smaller particle size. Number 2. Boost your compost Sprinkle some ashes into your compost heap to boost the nutrient density of its microbial environment. The little pieces of charcoal in the ashes add extra oxygen to your compost to keep your microbes happy. Since charcoal is porous, the minerals from the ash are absorbed and held in the compost. Number 3. Repel Mice and Other Household Pests Ashes can be used as an all-natural alternative repellent for mice, rats, cockroaches, and other household pests. You can avoid having to use harsh toxic chemicals around you, your family, and your pets. Just sprinkle some ashes in the corners of places like your attic, garage, basement, pantry, or even kitchen cupboards to make sure these rodents don't get any free meals out of you. Number 4. Encourage ants to relocate You can tell ants that it's time to go by dumping ashes on their anthill. They won't be able to move the ash, so they'll be forced to pack it up and move. Number 5. Stop snails and slugs in their slimy tracks Snails and slugs love chomping down on the veggies in your veggie garden. Before your cabbages start looking like Swiss cheese, you can surround your plants that are prone to snails and slugs with a circle of ash to keep the slimy little creeps away. Number 6. Control Pond Algae You can use ashes to control pond algae by giving your aquatic plants an ashy boost. Wood ash is rich in potassium, which helps these plants thrive, and as a result, algae don't get the nutrients they need to survive. You should only use about 1 tablespoon per 1,000 gallons of water. If you're not sure how big your pond is, start slowly and then wait a few days before adding more if necessary. Number 7. Save crops from frost damage When the temperature starts to dip, gardeners start shaking in their gardening boots out of fear of an impending frost that could destroy their bounty. But fear not, fearless gardeners! You can dust your plants with wood ash to prevent frost damage. Number 8. Save Seeds When you're storing seeds for the following year, you know that they can be very particular and you have to be very intentional about how you store them so they're still viable the following year. If not stored properly, they won't germinate, so place them in something insulated that also absorbs moisture. Then, add some ashes to the storage container. The ashes not only cut down on moisture, but also protect seeds from damage. Number 9. Clean the Grill after feasting at another legendary barbecue, it's time once again to clean the grill. Of course, ashes can help with that too. You can make a thick paste of ash and water and apply it to the grill surfaces to be cleaned. When mixed with the residual food fats left on the grill, a sort of natural soap will form. Allow it to soak for a few moments, then scrub well and rinse. Now this mixture can be tough on skin, so wear gloves during this task to avoid drying out your hands. Number 10. Use as a fire extinguisher Ashes can act as a fire extinguisher, so it's a good idea to have some buckets ready where a fire might break out, like a blacksmith's shop, welding setup, fire pit, or where you store your hay. Just smother the flames with the ash, and it will deprive the fire of the oxygen it needs to survive. Number 11. Make lye water you can make lye water which has been used as a cleaning solution in villages for centuries. To do so, boil the ashes from a hard wood fire in some soft water for about 30 minutes. Rainwater works best. As the ashes settle at the bottom of the pan, you can skim the liquid lye off the top. 
You can use the lye water as a natural detergent in washing machines and dishwashers, or for other external cleaning purposes. Number 12. Freshen up your fridge. Wood ash can serve as an alternative to baking soda in freshening up your fridge to absorb odors. You'll want to have about one cup of wood ash with some charcoal chunks in it as well, and place it in a tin can or small paper bag. You can then place it near the back of your fridge. If your fridge isn't already clean, you'll want to empty it first and clean it thoroughly beforehand. Number 13. Keep your silver shiny. If you're ever tasked with polishing some silver, and you really want to impress someone, wood ash can help you there too. Just whip out your handy dandy bag of wood ash and start by making a thick paste using the fluffy white ash and some water. Put some of the paste on the silverware, allow it to sit a few minutes, then wipe off. You can also add just a dab of ash on a felt cloth. Buff it to a shine, rinse, and dry well. Number 14. Use as a desiccant. Wood ash can be used as a drying agent, much like baking soda. You can place wood ash in tin cans in and around those dark and damp corners around your home and garage to pull the moisture out of the air. Make sure that there are some charcoal pieces in there as well. Number 15. Control litter box odor. Ash can keep your litter box fresh due to its odor absorbing powers. Wood ashes were actually used as cat litter before the commercial clay litter became available. You can sprinkle a cup of ashes and charcoal into your cat litter and mix it in for some extra odor absorption. Next time you have guests over, they'll wonder what happened to your cats because your place just smells so clean. Number 16. Clean up creosote. Glass doors on your fireplace or wood stove can become coated and stained with creosote, which can hide the view of those crackling flames. To clean things up, just dab some powdery ash on a damp sponge or cloth and scrub the creosote away. Just make sure that the fireplace or wood stove is completely cool before attempting to do this, so you don't get burned. Number 17. Use as a glass top stove cleaner. Similarly, you can use wood ash to clean your glass top stove. Again, make sure that there's no charcoal pieces in the ash. Take some of the fine, powdery ash and make a paste using a little water. Then, load it onto any of that stubborn, cooked-on gunk. Allow it to settle for a while, then wipe away. Your glass top stove will be nice and shiny again. I bet you'll never look at wood ashes in the same way again. What a great way to put to use something that would otherwise just get tossed out. Whether you're roasting chestnuts over an open fire in the winter, or grilling up a feast in a summer cookout, make sure not to toss out those handy ashes. Thanks for watching! If you thought this video offered some useful information, slam that like button and share it with your friends. It allows us to create more great content. If you want to see more videos from us, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a video.